Yeah, you all right there, boy? Um, hello. Miss Cat, all good?
Gotta go, boy. Get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! <laughs> what? Mr. Hey, mister. Hello. Come on, folks. Travel in comfort and safety. Hey. Hello. Welcome, friend. Good on you. Get a fresh start. Can't take it with you anyway, right? See you around. Be with you in just a moment. Uh-huh. Something else? Thank you for your help. Evening. Oh, hello. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where are you going? Hang on a second. There's something up with this one. I can tell. I ain't here to cause trouble. Whatever you come looking for ain't here. Clear these streets. Good evening. Best be leaving now. Last chance. I'm not warning you again. All right. How many of you I need to deal out, huh? Your space game. Here. There's three sheets to the wind, I reckon. Let's get out of here. Well, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing Hair love you are? Oh, but you are. Let us be free and wild and fast, my dear. Okay, fella. Who's back? Damn trouble, me. Come on! Out of the way! Fair to crack. Oh, shit. Hey there, partner. You know what? That's how it's gonna be. Forget about it. You sure are odd. 
You know when you have one of those days? Really? Okay, need to close it. Let's go. What can I do for you? Hank told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down at Flat Neck Station. So drunk, he could hardly play. Be here when you need it. Well, thanks. Come back soon. from the county store. Can I get a room, please? Room's all yours. Head on up. You want to fight? You want to fight? Need to freshen up a bit? Got a baby service. Ain't been before. How's it going, tough guy? That's what hey, watch saying. it! Excuse me. Howdy. You damn son of a bitch. Gentlemen. Hello, mister. We find out. Howdy. Whew. Whatever it is in that bottle. <laughs> Howdy, fellas. I think you're a church going man. I Mr. certainly am. But sometimes you're all doing all right. The offerings of this mortal coil. Oh, I ain't gonna argue with you about the pleasures of the flesh. No, sir. Don't make it sound so on toward. I'm just accepting what he. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? Hey, you look familiar. Hey, Wallace. This here's the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... Yep. How about you head over to the gunsmith? 
and pick out your choice of item on my tab. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Hey, yeah. what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. Peabody's cows keep coming up. That's just how it is. I let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Let's go, boy. Have it.
Mister? How'd you do? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
you're blind. Help! You better shut up that pretty mouth, or I'll shut Penny it for, for you. Blind. Penny for the blind. Penny for the blind. No, I've been kidnapped. Help! Help! Penny me. for the blind. Stay back. This here's a private affair. Penny for the blind. Help a blind man. Have this. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. All right, friend. I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. Way for. Yep, yep. <laughs> Let's get. Small <laughs> pal. <laughs> Slow it up. Easy now. Better like you. Knows how to carry himself.
Hey, boy. Yeah. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. I'm starting to lose my patience with you. You goddamn lunatic! Am I getting through to you now? Stop it, Arthur! That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Yep. Using you, telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about? 
just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but... Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers.
Toe, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. about seeing her, aren't you? Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hey, mister. Ah. You have a good evening. Come on! Eat with me. Hot weather? 
here for hard work. Good to see you, mister. Give me another drink. Quick! Before I sit right here in the bar. So that's how it was back in the day, you know. We wouldn't merely piss indoors. We shit and everything. We didn't care. You know why? Because real men don't care where other men turn. And that's just a fact. The other side of it is, if you do care, you ain't no man at all. Hey there. What do you want? Why well, you get out of my face before I break your scrawny neck? What the hell are you staring Mr. at? What, are you deaf as well and dumb? Oh, I get it. I get it. So come on, partner. Do you want to have some fun? I ain't shot. Not anymore. My friend, never mind. Howdy. Howdy, dude. Ah, <sighs> just stay put and have a drink, all right? I'm interested in some company. Ain't worth the trouble. Where are you going? Pardon. Evening, sir. Hey, partner. Who's this then? What? Everything holding up? Good evening. What do you think? Why don't you leave the table around here? Evening. Hi, folks. I'd seen it. I can't complain too much. Well, that's good to hear. We could use some more drinks here, huh? Decent way to pass the time.
Yep. So I was feeling around old McKinney's dry soul, and I found all these, you know, dead bodies. Well, I'll raise you. Shit. I'm in. Oh, did you leave your balls at home? <laughs> I'm a call. Look at that stack. I'm going all in. You think I was born yesterday? You're confident, but you'll regret. Good oh, God. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Ain't gonna win with these. Man, I All got right. lucky. That won't do you much good. Ha ha ha. Garbage. Howdy, I ain't never had a chance. Ah. All right. That's all? All right. Until next we play. You look like you need to let off some steam. This is meant to be fun. All right. I'm only offering. Nope. Oh, heck. I'll call. Check. Yeah. Is there a line for some of your time? This will do for me nicely. See ya. Oh, you're making a play, huh? I'll go all in. I'll call. Okay, here you go. Would you look at that? Wanna have a good time? <sighs> <laughs> You're shy. Well, I That's guess okay. I ain't beating that. I'll take it. Just know it. That sure is nice of you, man. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> yep. This has been the no best thanks. day of my life. All cheer. Saw a feller trying to escape the law by riding off on a damn donkey. Just yep. how it is. Huh. Well then. Come on, let's get this going. Hell! Not this time. And my sister now, she's knocked up. Mm -hmm. It's like yep. what happens all right with her claw. Sure ain't the first time. I'll see you.
Raisin. This is annoying. Huh? How's everything with you? <laughs> well, that'll do. Well, that's good. All right, just one more round, then I'm done. Thanks. I promise. I'm done. Fall. I'll raise you. Here, just a little. Mm. I just a little wager. Well, here we go then. I reckon you're full of shit. Let's be brave, all in. I'll call. Read him and weep. Have a look at these. Huh. We're in some trouble, my friend. Come on! Ah. Oh, heck. Yeah. Yes! Raisin. Call. I'll raise. Is that all you got? I'm gonna see you. I call. I know. It ain't too exciting. <clears throat> you. Is there a line? I'm a play like slow. Ah. I'll you raise you. So bad yourself. Take a look at these. Whew. Huh. For Christ's sakes. <laughs> Come on. You ain't lying. Let's go here. Just look. I guess I'm about You're done. Right. Sure. You out of your damn mind? Actually, forget about it. Damnation! Howdy. No more raising hell from you this time, you hear me? Just minding my own business, I promise you. Uh-huh. All the best to you. Bye then. 
Hello again. Can you arrange a bath? I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. some help in here. Sure, why not? You can just leave it to me now. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Yes, I know. Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. See you then. I hear the things the out-of-towner's been saying about my hotel. No, I do not have gold hidden under this establishment. Let's go, boy. Getting quick, folks, before I eat all these chops myself. The heck's the matter with you? Mister.
Look out! Easy Look, now. Bridge, you best clear off. Oh my god! Cross. There, boy.
don't make no difference. Prison transport, keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. Come on, please. Yeah. Knock, knock, Mr. Rope. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, no. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, das, uh, uh, no. das Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Aha. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. Is very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Where is it? No. 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 Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? No, still don't understand you. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss! Pay up! Stop! You stim I'm Shiwe! Ah, no, 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 no! Please, no! No, I have money, but, but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. Is is Varsava, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. What you got behind there? So surprise. Move aside. The longer I look, the madder I get. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. Better be something somewhere. Speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. You must have come here with some. I must eat, Prosho! 
Okay, that should about cover things. Here, uh, you gotta help me, mister. How about we skip the small talk, eh? You take 
way, partner. Idiot.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? I... Who knew? <clears throat> Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Okay, fellas. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars out. 
Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yeah, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> God damn it, Hunter! Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure has up. Always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean over the boots you got there, eh? Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Come on, focus. Oh. Focus, okay.
up there! Quick! Come on, let's get up there! You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Slow up now. Again, mister. Ready for a clean slate? Well, we'll make sure to send word to West Elizabeth. Good day to you. Come on now, boy. Hey there!
Hey, listen! I just wanted to say... I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Uh, but... Uh, I'm back home now. So everything's going to be out. Okay. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Do you seem in a good mood? I am. Son of a... I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. And don't you worry, Mr. Gray. Mason, you drunk old shitbag. <laughs> It'll be nothing but the, the finest oh, game in the pot. Yeah, now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine oh, riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid You didn't need much excuse. So, what now? Somebody oh. needs to show you all how it's done. How and I'm sure you will. He'll be drinking till dawn now, what's that? Uh, listen, oh, my friend. Have some fun. Do you He's know the Louisville maid? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, I just don't need to follow. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Don't you? Don't you? Louisville, I've been a maid. Mark, well, what I need to say. And she was missing a supper tray. Trailer did a little, little holiday. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, what I do say. She says you're swinging around the globe for the day, 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 day. I put my finger on her knee, my girl, what I do say. She says you're swinging around the globe for the day, 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 day. I put my arm around her waist, my girl, what I do say. She says you're swinging around the globe for the day, 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 day. I put my hand upon her thigh, my girl, what I do say. Very nice. But how about something a little more civilized? Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. You can tell the difference. I didn't think we was gonna see you again. Ah, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? That, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. You okay? Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Okay. Okay. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening.
off again. Fine. <laughs> sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> Sorry, Mary Beth. See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. I mean it. Just to let you know, I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. And the ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's, That's what, what you call a ring dang do. <laughs> Took me down into her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine fellow. Hit me wine and whiskey too. too. Let, Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now, now what is that? It's soft and round like, like a pussy cat. cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. And that's, that's what you call, call a ring dang do. Her father come in uh -oh. angrily said, Now you have lost your, your maiden head. Pack your bag and coat packs too. Make, Make your living off the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? It's soft and round. Got a hole in the middle and split it in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. And it is time upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Take a crack of a ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it split it in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. <laughs> Was it a long ride back with him? You have no idea. I can imagine. 
You love a party, Mr. Pearson. We needed this. Yes. We I did. Have fun, Arthur. Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. You know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is.